the whole of this period of living through the pandemic is, I think, uh, something of a revelation for us, for everyone. Not so much a change of life, but a revelation of our lives. And as we come out of this time, I hope that this might be also a time where we develop more strongly a human care of one another. My name is Peter Commonsoli. I'm the Catholic Archbishop of Melbourne. In our faith context, taking the COVID-19 vaccines, one of the vaccines available, uh, is a good thing to do. Good for the person to uh, protect themselves and to avoid uh, hospitalisation or, or those greater risks, but also good for others that uh, someone who is vaccinated is able to be in amongst others in a way that uh, provides a level of protection for them. And these are things that are important in our faith. We have the beautiful story of the Good Samaritan in our Christian faith and the one who went out to be a neighbour to the other and taking a vaccine is a way of being a neighbour to others. There are very many common questions we receive around uh, vaccinations, uh, questions of, of a medical nature even coming to us, but also of a, uh, moral questions and uh, practical questions around the regulations. And we try to encourage people to go to their doctors to talk through the medical things. We uh, assist uh, all our parishes and communities to uh, understand the regulations and we address any uh, moral qualms that people might have. In the Archdiocese of Melbourne, we have over 200 parishes, over 300 schools. So very, very many communities. And they're spread right across metropolitan Melbourne and, and into the uh, more regional areas. So very many people have, in fact, uh, contracted COVID-19. So we continue to encourage people to take steps that might protect themselves and protect their families and protect the community. From the beginning, our places of worship have been taking all the appropriate steps to make our communities safe. So the various regulations that, that, that government have assisted us to understand like the very basics of mask wearing, sanitising, distancing, these sorts of things have been a part of our communities from the beginning of COVID and the various lockdowns. I think people coming out of lockdown are experiencing all sorts of things. I think coming back into the community is going to be a mixed feeling for people. It's going to be something of a, isn't it great to be back together again? And, and already I'm experiencing these wonderful conversations of, hi, hey, how are you? And just great to see you again. But also there's a, a sense that of a little bit of nervousness, perhaps anxiety, of just what it's, what's it like to be with someone again um, and trying to keep things safe for each of us. Uh, so there's mixed feelings, I think. These levels of anxiety, I think, are real and ought to be acknowledged and they build into what has become something of a deeper significance, and that's the, the mental health of, of our communities generally. And I think there are any steps that can be taken to uh, encourage people to act in good ways towards one another, to take the steps that it will help them personally, to uh, live a healthy life, and to seek help when they need it. Uh, and they, if they notice that someone close to them is struggling, or they themselves notice their own struggle, that they might reach out. Uh, and our churches, our communities, and our services are available to all people, of faith or not faith, those services are available to them.